Just recently, all the bishops of Poland made an unlimina visit to the Holy Father. Pope Francis spoke to our group and he said that he grew up with a devotion to Divine Mercy. From his childhood, he was familiar with this devotion. He knew St. Faustina and was interested in her diary. The Holy Father continues to enter ever more deeply into the mystery of the Divine Mercy or devotion to the merciful Jesus. It is interesting because this revelation of God's mercy took place before the horrors of World War II. It is as though the Lord God himself wished to manifest to humanity that there is divine mercy. Likewise now, he shows us that the world, as we read in a diary, is incapable of returning to God on its own. That is why the only recourse left is the divine mercy, divine mercy. We turn to God's mercy in these times in order to draw near to God, to bring the world into his presence. And the bearer that brings us to him is this message of St. Faustina. It offers hope, forgiveness, opens us to divine gifts, it gives birth to an interior peace as it leads to reconciliation with God. The world today needs conversion, needs to return to God. This message is spreading throughout the world on its own. It is a devotion for our times. The Lord has given us this message and devotion for the people of today. Just as Divine Providence has chosen St. Faustina and Blessed John Paul II, so God's Providence has chosen your congregation to spread this message of the Divine Mercy, not only in the United States, but throughout the whole world. It is a great message that not only regenerates humanity, but also renews the human society. Here, I want to express my appreciation to the rector of the National Shrine of Divine Mercy in Stockbridge. I want to thank you, the Marian Fathers, for all the work that you do, especially for guarding and preserving the Divine Mercy message, for promoting it in its authentic forms and for deepening its understanding. This message of mercy must always be closely linked to that place where the heart of the true devotion beats and where it is promoted in line with the official teaching and in the way that the Lord desires.